Yes, we're so excited to have you on. Thank you. And, and I think you have a pretty interesting story because you've been through the roller coaster of experiences in, in your background and in your relationship with Dave. And here it is now. And I, you know, it's so funny. My husband said he was asking last night, like, isn't it crazy that people are like, hi, you know, wanting yeah. to get to the bar? But what does it feel like having gone through the fight of wanting to encourage your spouse to quit? You know, telling them that I don't really believe in this, let's do something else. But all of a sudden, there's an emergence that you see a transformation, the growth, but not only that, the lives being changed. What does it feel like having gone through that fight and going around and seeing the change and the transition both in your life, personally, and in your relationship? Well, I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, it's kind of hard to find the words for it. And I don't often sit and think about it until moments like this. Um, it's just, I think it really reminds me about what's most important in life. Um, and the first two things that come to mind are love and faith. You know, just, um, it took a great deal of faith to get through the period of time when we were growing the business with Dave and Ashley um, and drawing upon our family and our loved ones just to continue to have the strength to see the vision, you know, because it got us here today, you know, and love, you know, what I've learned in the process is that love is a decision, it's not a feeling. Um, love is a decision, it's an action. David was talking all about that and the right And so we made a decision to love each other no matter what. And it's gotten us here. And we've been able to share that gift with everyone else, you know, which is a huge blessing. So well, let me just ask you, what would your recommendation be to someone that came here today? And they might not see the vision initially but they're here just to support, what would you recommend and what would your suggestion be to them to maintain the belief with their spouse until they actually really get there? What would you suggest? Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind is, um, you know, you have to take that time to get with each other, just one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I mean? Because if you're mixed up in the chaos of life and you don't take that time to really connect with each other, that's the time when, um, you can really stand side by side and see the vision together. You don't want to be facing each other or facing away from each other or facing, you know, you want to be facing in the same direction. And it takes that time. You know, Dave and I try to make time to be together, just us, you know, at least once a week. And just really connect to make sure we're still in line with each other, we're still the same vision, we're still, like, you know what I mean, working towards the same thing. That's really important, I think. Um, take that time and get with your partner. And just connect, you know. And I think when you do that, the real, the truth comes through, you know. And then you can apply the things that we're talking about here that all of us are talking about. Faith and love and hope and compassion and unity. Um, and then everything seems to work out when you do that, you know. 